welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to start our color along out of Mythographic Dream Garden. And the page that we're going to work on is this dragonfly page right here. And today we are going to start on the background. And what I've decided to use for the background, and we'll see how this turns out because I, it'll be the first time I've done this for a background. Um, but I had this uh, watercolor palette I've had for quite a while I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, because I do like watercolor and I really wanna get into using that, but I hadn't tried it yet. Um, but it's a metallic watercolor palette. And these are the colors that are in the set, swatched out. Um, this is the color that I think we're gonna use today, but we're gonna use that for the background. And before we do that though, I think I'm going to take my white Posca and I'm gonna, gonna try to um, cover up all the little hidden elements um, that are on the page and let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll paint the background um, <clears throat> because I love these books I very much love these books but the only thing I'm not fond of and that throws me off are these little hidden elements so I like to try to cover them up when I can so that's what I'm going to try to do today um, using the Posca now if you like the hidden element aspect by all means you can leave yours in and um, just color them in how you choose but I am going to try to cover these up and make sure my Posca is flowing well Zoom you in and we'll get started. So I'll start with this one here, and I'm just going to try to use the Posca and go over all the lines the artist drew in. <clears throat> I wanted to get this video filmed and up for you all yesterday, however, we had a pretty busy day yesterday. Um, we had a birthday party to go to, and we had some other things going on as well, so um, unfortunately I wasn't able to get that done for you. We'll move down here and try to cover up the hat. But, uh, you will probably be getting two videos today, since I didn't put one up yesterday, and I don't have much going on today, so. I'm gonna do this one here, and then, um, I am waiting on some packages to come today, and then I'll be filming a kind of small haul video haul video. Oh, no, I did not. Yes, I did. Okay. It's the only thing. You definitely want to be careful with your Posca <laughs> because if you press it too many times, that can happen. You can get the big blob of paint to come out. I'm just going to lift that off with the paper towel. I try to make sure there's no excess on the 
barrel there. Okay. Try this again. And if you don't have or don't use Posca, you can always try to do this with white gel pen too. It's not always going to cover these lines completely either, so sometimes you might want to let that dry and then try it again if it's too dark for you. Hopefully, between doing this and then painting on top, hopefully they won't be so noticeable. I'm going to leave the little star there. Okay. Alright. And now I think I'll just move the tripod a little bit more. Sorry about all that. Okay, we'll go over the hot air balloon. If anyone knows of any other 
ways of trying to hide these elements. Could you please leave me a comment down below and let me know so I can give those a try as well. Okay. Let's see what else would be in the background. And then, let's see, I think that's all that's in the background area, other than this little thing here, which, um, I might actually leave that there and just color that in with some some of the same colors that we use for the other elements so let's zoom back out for just a second and see wow. some of it is still like the balloon is still kind of showing through in the hat but i am going to pause let this dry completely and then go over these one more time and then i will be right back See you in a minute. All right, so I'm back. They um, have all dried. I put a second coat on them and let them dry again. So now we're ready to add our paint. And I've just put a few drops of water in there and let it sit so that <clears throat> it would be ready to go. And... I have um, three different water brushes here with three different size brushes. Um, I have this one that's pretty big brush. And then I have this one here, which is just a little smaller. And then this one is just a little smaller than that last one, just a little skinnier. So, and it's pretty stained up. Um, but we will use the smaller ones for all the tiny little spots we have to get into. So, I'm just going to load my brush up. And again, I'm not, <laughs> not real good with the watercolor. I've not done it much at all. So, we're going to see how this goes. Okay, so... I will zoom you in and we will begin. Okay. I think I'm going to start right here. Just lay this down. Like I said, I'm not good at it, so I am a little, a little nervous and trying to. Uh, Make sure I get this covered without going over my image. If anyone has done much with watercolor and has any tips or anything for me, please feel free to leave that in the comment section for me. I like trying new things though, especially for backgrounds and stuff like that. So I've been wanting to try this for a while and just uh, hadn't done so yet. I 
if I get really quiet, I apologize. I'm just concentrating <laughs> on trying not to get this on, over the image. Oh, you know what I did not do? I have not put anything under this page. Give me one second. Don't know that it would matter that much right now, but actually that has, that has some ink on it. I have another one. Sorry for moving you all over the place. <laughs> okay, now we'll go over this. Whoops. Yeah, I'm not doing that good at not getting this on the image, am I? <laughs> I might should have used a smaller brush for around here, but it'll be okay. And I have a feeling I'm probably where I've used the Posca. I may have to do more than one coat of this, more than one layer. Let's see if I can get that off that pedal. Mm, no. Okay. I'm going to try to go around all these stars and circles, too. Let's see if I can manage here. may have to switch to a smaller brush here in just a second. Okay, or maybe we'll just paint over the circles. <laughs> I think I'm about to switch brushes. Which with these little stars, I was gonna go back over, go, uh, I was going to use either this, uh, not this color, but some of this metallic paint or gel pen to fill those in. All right, let me switch brushes real quick. Get a little bit finer point.
This is probably going to take me a while, so this may be all we manage to do for the first part is the background or a part of <laughs> the background. I might actually pause the video and finish the rest off camera. And, and I have been off screen this whole time. I am sorry. And um, come back and work on another element so that you're not getting bored watching me paint this background in. I'll try my best not to get it over the line of the border, but if I do, once it's dry and once the image is finished, I may just add some washi tape to around the border. Cover that up. And, <laughs> and that way I don't have to worry because I'm not super steady handed. Uh, yeah. So. I was going to use the King Arts for the background, but I have I've used them for my background for most things for a while. So I figured I would, for this color along anyway, I would change it up a little and uh, do something a little different. Okay, so I think that I will pause this right here and I will finish this off camera so you're not having to watch me do this for an hour or so. Um, and when I come back, um, we'll start on another element on the page. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I have completed the background and it has been left to dry. So now we will get started on a couple elements on the page. If we have time, we're going to do this main larger flower and the dragonfly, if we have time. I'm trying not to let have it run over an hour. Um, but <laughs> if we don't, we'll do as much as we can. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this larger 
flower, how I'm going to color that. And then these two down here that are similar to this one, I'm going to do off camera the same way that I will color this one. Um, and yeah. So, and then next time we'll tackle the smaller flowers and the crystals and leaves and stems. Um, so I decided I was going to use polychromos on this one because I don't think I've actually used them on my channel yet and I haven't used them recently. So I think that um, these are what I want to go for with this. So for the center of the flower, which is where we'll start, I have chose four colors. Let me turn these all around. Um, I'm not sure that you'll be able to see it with the glare from the light, but it is Burnt Sienna, number 283, Burnt Ochre, 187, Dark Naples Ochre, 184, and Cream, 102. Okay, so slide these over. I'll just lay those there. Okay, so I'm going to start with my Burnt Sienna, which is my darkest color, and I'm going to zoom you in so that hopefully you can better see this. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start with the Burnt Sienna, and I'm just going to go in and put some of this down. And I'm gonna go along the, like where anything overlaps the center, fade it up. And then also because it, the center is made up of these different little segments, um, I'm going to try to anywhere you can see there's actually one of these segments. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of this color at the bottom. Which, I mean that this will take us a little longer, but I'm fine with that. I hope you are too. So we'll just kind of put this in. So how is everyone doing today? I hope you're all doing well and having a good weekend. And I hope you're getting to do some coloring. And if, um, if you're going to be doing this color along with me, if you could, please leave me a comment below and let me know. I'd be very interested and happy to know that. Plus, I love hearing from you all anyway for any reason or... If you all have anything in mind for another color along or a video that you'd like to see, please let me know that too. I'm more than happy to do that. Um, and I like it when people request uh, certain things so I know that I'm making videos that you all will like and hopefully like and enjoy. bottom edge here. And along where the body of the dragonfly is. I'll slide that back over just a little bit so you're more centered. Which 
these are segments are kind of small and close together so just kind of putting a little bit here and there Now our next color that we will be using is Burnt Ochre and I'm just going to go over top of that Burnt Sienna that we laid down already and feather that up, pull the color out a little bit. Just trying to make sure we leave some room for our last color or two. Okay. And then along the bottom, do the same thing. All right, and now our next color is Dark Naples Ochre. Oh, it's blurry. There you go. Sorry about the blurriness. My camera did not like that. So what's it like where you all live at? It's been pretty chilly here the last few mornings and this morning it's 45 degrees outside and so it's a little chilly. I'm not ready for the really cold weather but I do love fall and the cooler temperatures. I like it when you can wear a hoodie out <laughs> and be comfortable, not be hot and not be freezing. That's perfect for me. Yeah, it's been pretty chilly every morning, and then in the afternoons, it's been getting up to, up in the 70s. Um, which is still nice, it's not too hot. Okay. Now the bottom side. Okay, and then <clears throat> our last color is cream, and with the cream, I'm going to go over everything that we've laid down and use that to blend them together and to fill in any white areas that were left. And of course, it's, especially with these being polychromos, um, once we lay this down, if we don't feel like there is enough contrast left, like it's lightened up our darker colors a little too much, 
We can definitely go back in with our darker colors and add to it because these layer so well. So it's probably what I will do at least a little. Oh, and I have completely missed that part over there. That's okay. We'll get that in just a second. Some of you all were probably hollering at me. <laughs> you missed part of the center. That's okay. We'll get it. my coffee. All right, so we'll do this little section in here for the wing. We missed, and I'm just going the base of each one of those little segments with the burnt sienna, and now with the burnt ochre. And the dark naple, dark naples ochre, and the cream. Okay, and I'm going to take the burnt sienna, and I'm going to go back in and darken up the shadows again a little bit. And where anything overlaps, any of these little segments. Kind of deepen them up just a little bit again. so I don't forget it this time. <laughs> and then back down here. And then the burnt ochre. I'm just going over top of all the places where I put the burnt sienna.
All right. I think that looks pretty good. So we will move on to our petals. And for the petals, let me move these out of the way. For the petals, I have chosen dark chrome yellow, dark cadmium yellow, cadmium yellow, and light cadmium yellow. <clears throat> so with our dark chrome yellow, go in and just a little along the edge there and then where the petal meets the center we'll put more pressure and feather it out and along this edge a little feather that out And where this petal here overlaps, I'm going to put a little bit under there. Put it out. Okay, and then these little lines that the artist has drawn in, I'm going to go over those with some heavy pressure with this color. So next, I'm going to take my dark cadmium yellow, go over everything we did, pull that color out a little more, and fade that out, feather it out. Do the same thing. Go over everything we've laid down. Extend that out a little further. Feather it out. Leave a little room for the cream. Okay, and finally, or not the cream, I'm sorry, the light cadmium yellow. We're going to go in with that. And again, go over everything we've done. Fill in any white space that's left. Blend all those colors together. And there's our finished petal. Okay, I'm going to take my dark chrome yellow and go back over all the little areas that were darkest again, like we did with the center, and just deepen that up a little. Not pressing hard, just, just layering that a little bit more of that on top. And that's how we're going to do all these other petals as well. Okay, so down here where it meets the center, I'm going to put a lot more pressure and then lighten it up, slowly lighten it up and feather it out going as we go up. And then where this is kind of 
showing that the petal is kind of bent. I'm gonna go right in here, right above this line, and put some of this color in and feather that out. Okay, and then again, go over all these little lines. Next is dark cadmium yellow. Again, you just want to go over everything we've done, extend it out a little further, and feather it out. Lastly, our light cadmium yellow. Just want to blend all that together. Take my darkest color again, the dark crumb yellow, and deepen up the shadows again. Since we are coming up on an hour, um, I believe <clears throat> what I will do now is I'll try to do these last two petals here on camera with you, and then we'll do we'll finish this flower as well, the petals of this flower as well as the two smaller flowers at the bottom off camera. So. Dark chrome yellow. Excuse me. That one's pretty small. And then we're gonna just go ahead and put this in on this next petal as well. Um not sure what we're going to do with these circles yet, so I'm going to try to go around the circles for now. Um, and I'll think about that and hopefully have a decision made by the next time we... By the time we do our part two. Um, okay, and now... Dark cadmium yellow. Actually, let's start up here. Okay. Then our cadmium yellow. And lastly, our light cadmium yellow. Blend 
blend everything together. To go back in with the dark chrome yellow and darken up our shadows again. zoom you out so we can take a look at what we have done so far before we go okay so that's where we stand right now we have our background done the center of this flower done and these flower petals so off camera we will finish all the petals on this flower and then we will come down here and do these two flowers the exact same way we did this one up here and when we come back, we'll work on our dragonfly and our smaller flowers. And I just realized there's another, there's another one of these flowers right here. So we'll do these three flowers off camera the same way we've done this up here so far. All right. Until then, everybody, please stay safe and happy coloring. If you like this video or videos like these, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. And yeah, I will see you later. Bye.